as always, our local contractors work very, very closely to make sure that we abide by the restrictions. So, of course, if there's a dark sky ordinance here, then our lights will meet those ordinances. We work very hard to make sure our fields are an enhancement to the communities where we build them and never a hindrance to the people or the folks that live around it. The Arizona Diamondbacks Foundation raises money all year. We do important projects with our fans at the ballpark. So about half of the funds comes with support from our fans at Chase Field. APS makes a substantial gift to each field. And then the player who names the field actually makes a substantial personal gift. This is where really the largest public safety loss in Arizona history. It's not the country short of 9-11 occurred. So we want to make sure we do it right. This is clearly the quickest way to get this process started of, you know, securing this sacred ground. You'll be seeing this bill moving forward with an appropriation to actually acquire the land out from the state trust lands department. And then we will be transferring that over to the state park system. That it will always be a place for our families and our public safety people and that the public can go and pay their respects and remember the dedication of these heroes there. Members from every walk of the state are all on board with this, so I think this will be a nice trip. That's going to be up to the families, the Parks Department, the public to help design something that is truly effective in making sure that the respect is paid for the loss. It's not just about Yarnell and the Avapai County area. This is about Arizona.